it, it was something that we did not really get credit for and in, is taken care of now. And, and it, um, it's too often what I have seen is government tends to be reactive, not proactive. To answer your question, the first part of the question, one of the things, that, does Alabama's health statistics, in, they spend $70 per capita, do their health statistics look better than ours? A very pertinent question, right? And the answer to that in my little bit of research is I don't see that their health statistics are a whole lot better than ours. And they're spending five times the amount of money per capita. So what does more money necessarily equate to better health? The answer, therefore, based on that one little, my looking into it on my basis, has there been a study actually that I'm aware of? No. Uh, so that's a, that's a question that I ask up front. What does more money necessarily equate with better health? It doesn't necessarily, therefore, do that based on what I've seen. So, so are we being, are we using the money that we get in a more effective manner because our statistics are some are in some ways better than theirs. So it's not a reduction, it's not a reduction in the workforce, but you're saying that uh, the quality of care is better than everyone's I'm not sure I know the answer to that question. You know, uh, as far as Alabama and Georgia, I don't have the, uh, I, I don't know. We'd look into the first part because the question they I asked that question
Thank you very much. Oh, we're going to look at let Miss Lee. She's been trying a million times, but last question, Miss Lee. I'm glad this Lee from Brooks County, a member of the Lowndes County Democratic Party. I'm a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and we are going to Atlanta on. February 17th and 18th to meet with state legislators to say these are the problems in the 18 counties South Georgia district health-wise. What do you want me to say to Senator Tim Golden when we say we need to speak with you? Amy Cardle, 
Ellis Black, we need to speak with you and have you address these concerns. What do you want me to say to them? Uh, Senator Tim Golden uh, was a patient of mine for 30 years. Um, I, I know all of them, as most of us do. And I actually had emailed Senator Golden about two weeks ago that at some point in the near future I would just sort of like to sit down with him. Even though the Department of Public Health wants us to do anything we, the district directors, say to any legislative body, they want to sort of know what we're going to say um, in advance of our saying it. And I understand, I understand that too. Uh, and they are, they are, I do work under the commissioner who is head of the department. What we want to say is please remember that the health of our citizens is a priority, and especially certain segments of our society. But as you see, public health doesn't just serve a segment, it serves everybody. And we have to remember it, we have to have funding. We have to have funding to keep a, a, a active, ev uh, evolving public health service that can address ongoing and new concerns as they arise. And, the, and we have to have infrastructure to do that, and that infrastructure has to be funded. And we're losing and have lost that funding in comparison to a lot of other things that are out there, a lot showier and a lot shinier, like new bridges and new roads and the DOT, and I can go down the list, um, and you can see that the everyone has their list of our priorities, and you know that. The, the, as I've said as a physician, and I say here as director, that your health, the health of your citizens, is the priority, and, and has to be remembered that public health has to have essential funding for its core services to be continued, or we will lose the infrastructure for the health of the public. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, um, I wish that I had heard Dr. Groh's talk uh, many years ago because I stayed in a hotel in the Baltimore area that had bed bugs. And when I took my photograph and my doctor's bill to the hotel and said I had this problem, they said, oh, you didn't have that here. I should have contacted the health department. I didn't know. So now I know. Hopefully I'll never have that happen to me again, though. Thank you much, very much, Dr. Groh. And we do look forward to having you come back and have the conversation about affordable care with us in the fall. Um, at this time, we will have some officers' reports. Uh, Dr. Marks will talk to us about uh, elections. Uh, this is the year we have municipal elections. Uh, we have uh, openings on uh, city council, uh, school board, uh, and uh, uh, mayors, uh, not in Valdosta, but in the smaller uh, municipalities in, in Lowndes County. If you are interested in running for public office, and we encourage you to become involved, if you are interested in running for public office, please talk to Gretchen or talk to myself or talk to Dick Sager, uh, who is our vice chair for qualifying. Uh, Dick has experience running campaigns. Uh, we can help you. We can advise you uh, on, on running a good campaign. Another way to get involved is on the, on the uh, boards and, um, and commissions in uh, both Lowndes County and the city of, city of Valdosta. Uh, there are vacancies on those boards. Those are opportunities for, for you to become involved uh, in a variety of, variety of areas. Uh, so if you are interested in serving on those, uh, again, uh, please see us about that. At the state level, uh, the big news uh, since I last talked to you uh, is that uh, Senator Saxby Chambliss has decided uh, not to put, <clears throat> not to face the voters again. Uh, and so there's a very good, very good chance uh, that's going to be a very competitive race. Uh, there is a, uh, an opportunity uh, for uh, Democrats to become involved in the uh, in the Senate race, uh, the governor's uh, uh, race is also going to be taking place in, 20, in 2014. Uh, so these are very important races. We can make a real difference. 
Uh, we have seen in other states what happens when Republicans put up fringe candidates. Uh, they lose to Democrats, even in red states. Uh, so this is an opportunity for a, for a pickup pick up there. Um, uh, and uh, the other things are, are coming up at the, at the state level. Is, uh, this Saturday is a meeting of the state committee. Uh, Laverne is, uh, Gaskins is the uh, secretary of the state, state party. Uh, Gretchen and I and Linda Ray serve on the, on the state committee. Uh, we will be there and uh, bring you news at the next meeting of things going on at the state level. And then on March the 9th, the Jefferson uh, Jackson dinner, uh, the speaker this year will be Ted Strickland, uh, former governor of the state of Ohio. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in, in uh, going to the Jefferson Jackson dinner and getting involved in the, in the state level, again, see, please see Gretchen or myself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Saxby. Goodbye. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you, you should be thinking about who do you know, who's in your mind at, at the state level that you think would be a really great candidate, um, and then ring them up and say, I hope that you're considering running for office. You know, you know a lot of people who have run statewide that maybe you supported before. Call them up and talk to them. Membership, Win Roberson. Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you all. I'm Wynn Robeson and I'm vice chair for membership. And I'd like to um, let you all know, first of all, that we'll be having a campaign here uh, within the Democratic Party around about March to increase the membership of, the, of this party. There's a lot we can do here, a lot we can do here in Lowndes County, but with everything else, it takes funds. And you know, and I, I added this up. We ask individuals to pay $25 for one. Family, $40. And if you add that up, we're talking about $2 a month. Two. Two dollars a month. Fifty cents a week. And if you would help us with the membership, right here are the ones that are in here now, to help us with that, you will add tremendously to the, to the things that we want to do here in Lowndes County. One, we want to get some op-eds in the newspaper. We want to send out letters to individuals. And this all costs money. And I guarantee you that the money is being used wisely. So if you would, uh, all of you will be contacted within March around that month we're trying to set everything up and I ask you if you would to please consider contributing to this and become a member of this Democratic Party. There's a lot we can do and we're depending on you to help. Thank you very much. We are doing quite a bit. We mailed um, postcards. You maybe received one in the mail that had the whole year's schedule on it. Um, we mailed that to uh, just under 1,000 Democrats in the uh, county. And today we did a little robocall to remind people of the, of the meeting coming up. Um, we sent that to 1,500 homes and had a very good response rate. So, uh, yes, if you would be so kind as to pay $25 dues, that helps us to reach out and elect Democrats. Uh, do we have any members that would like to address us briefly as we come to the close of our hour? Something that's important that you think we need to think about uh, contacting our legislators or an issue of importance to you? None. Is there any old business hanging over us from some other month that we didn't do? Any new business, something we need to think about coming up? Okay, I have on my list of things to remind you. The state committee is meeting, Dr. Mark said, on February the 9th. 
the Jefferson Jackson dinner is on March the 9th. Now, if you go to the Jefferson Jackson dinner, you might round yourself up a photo that looks somewhat like this one. This we took, this was the people who sat at the Democratic Party table at the MLK dinner the other night, and we took a picture of ourselves with our celebrity who's now left, um, Councilman uh, Sonny Vickers. But you might, if you go to the JJ, get yourself a group picture with somebody fun like uh, Ted Strickland, the uh, former governor of Ohio, uh, or maybe you would meet John Lewis or someone else that you hold in high esteem and get your picture made and that's really fun. However, here locally on March the 9th, we will also be having a voter registration booth at the Azalea Festival. So if you want to volunteer on March the 9th to help us register voters, make sure that people who have moved from place to place, as they sometimes do, have their voter registration up to date and are qualified to vote in the local elections, which will be this fall, join us at the Azalea Festival. So you either can go to Atlanta and have a fun time, or you can stay here in Valdosta and have a fun time. March 9th is going to be a great day. Um, our next meeting is March the 4th, and our speaker will be Fire Chief Guyton from the county. I just got to have a little interaction with the fire department here in Lowndes County the other night. We did a controlled burn on our place Friday afternoon and um, had our fire completely under control, and it got to be dark, and the neighbors noticed that there was a fire burning at our place, and they called, and the fire people came and, you know, they provide a really important service that our tax dollars pay for. So Fire Chief Guyton will be here to talk about county fire services and I'm sure things that you can do to keep yourself safe at home, um, sort of in the way that the health department keeps us safe at home. So plan on joining us March the 4th for uh, Fire Chief Guyton. I don't have my gavel. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. And a second? All in favor of going home? Oh, yeah. We are adjourned. Thank you very much.